to get him. Now at number 17 overall, the Jacksonville Jaguars, a team, in my opinion, very similar to the Seattle Seahawks the past two seasons. I thought they overachieved in 2022, making it to the divisional round, eventually falling to the Kansas City Chiefs, then taking a step back when they were prohibitive favorites in the preseason last year to win the AFC South. Where do they go with this selection, number 17? Definitely a few spots lower or higher, however you want to take it, than I'm sure that they wanted to be picking in this draft. Yeah, and the Jaguars were expecting to go into 2024 with wide receiver Calvin Ridley, but of course, our division rival Tennessee Titans scooped him at the last moment and gave him a bunch more money than the Jaguars were willing to give him. And right now, I like the Jaguars' interior receiver threats with Christian Kirk and Evan Ingram. But on the outside, you're left with Zay Jones and Gabe Davis. And let's be real, since 2021, Trent Baalke has not invested much draft capital all in the wide receiver position. It's just a sixth-round pick and a seventh-round pick, and I think it's time to get him a young outside threat. And I think with Brian to Brian Thomas Jr. on the board out of LSU. I think that has got to be the pick that the Jaguars make. I mean, he's a guy that can, you know, win the 50-50 ball on the outside. And he's also a guy that can take, you know, a simple slant route to the house. And I think finally getting Trevor Lawrence a young receiving threat like that through the draft and not for agency will be huge for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2024 and beyond. And we've talked time and time again about how this is one of the deepest wide receiver classes in a long, long time. Um, and I think that would be a great pick for Jacksonville, definitely in an area of need. Let's go to the Houston Texans, who have a boatload of good receivers right now. So if there's anybody to talk to about good wide receiver play, it's Houston. What say you? Yeah, Brian Thomas Jr. is an absolute dog. You're talking about a 6'4 wide receiver who could just go up and get it. I love that he transferred from Georgia to LSU and just immediately produced and became a number one wide receiver for them. This is what Trevor Lawrence needs is another weapon for him. And right now it's an arm race in the AFC South, but I like Brian Thomas Jr. to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think an arms race is a great, great way to describe what's going on in that division right now. Really one of the weaker divisions in the, in the National Football League a couple of years ago, but really, really on the rise as of right now. Let's go to Indianapolis real quick. Yeah, so I, I think that this is a great pick because the only other one that I, I think would have made sense is a cornerback. You know, I think Jacksonville probably could have used a cornerback too, but you need to replace Calvin Ridley. You need to give a guy like Brian Thomas Jr. a quarterback like Trevor Lawrence. There you go. And you've also got a great offensive mind like Doug Peterson, good good backfield headed by uh, Travis Etienne. I think that's a great fit for him. And I mean, I think that he's got absolutely fantastic upside, especially against weaker secondaries where he could just torch them deep. Now at 18 overall, we have the Cincinnati Bengals, a team who really had their season 